All right, Roman here. I wanted to do a quick review of the Apogee Ensemble. It's a little bit of an older interface now, but it's still a really quality product. They're not making them new anymore, but you can still find them used. And for the prices that they're selling for, I feel like it's an awesome deal. Uh, Apogee really has always put a lot into the conversion quality at the interface. So it doesn't have quite all the bells and whistles and crazy processing power, but it has some amazing converter qualities. Uh, so the inside of the interface is designed really well and the way that they designed the outside of the interface with all the knobs and the buttons was just uh, a, an interface that really has worked for me. Uh, so I'm going to dive into a little bit, explain a little bit about what's going on on the front panel, also talk about how it integrates with Logic and a little bit about Aperture Control. So let's get into it. All right, so here's a close-up of the audio interface. Uh, I really like the way Apogee designed the layout of this. Uh, something that they did really cool, if you'll see over here to the left where there's the guitar ends, it also has a reamping feature. But not only that, they have the, uh, the way that they laid out the front panel, you can hit every single input channel just by the push of a button. So you have eight in the back. And the way that they've designed it is these two don't actually occupy any of the eight in the back. So you can be recording eight channels in and still be recording guitar channel one and two, it actually routes into your DAW as channel 11 and 12. So you have channel one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight that you can be recording on. Uh, the front panel mic is channel nine and 10, and then channel 11 and 12 are guitar one and two. So you can actually be recording all of those simultaneously. So it's really cool. These don't occupy any of the inputs in the back. Uh, the way that it works is you can hit any single button and you can go to the different channel, you can adjust the gain here, and then if you hold that button, I don't know if you'll be able to see on the screen, but you can adjust what's going on within that channel, whether it's gonna have an insert, or you wanna put on the phase switch, or you wanna change. You can change it from 10, negative 10 dBB to a mic, so you can actually, with all of these channels, you can bypass the preamps and go straight into the converters, or you can go into the preamp depending on what you're using. And then also from there, you can turn on your 48 volt phantom power. You can do all of that from right here on these buttons, these nice silicone buttons. They have a really nice feel. Or instead of pushing the buttons, once you hold it, you access that by just holding. You can just push this knob here and you can cycle through insert one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, all the way over to the guitar inputs. Moving over to the right side, you have the main output knob and this will obviously control your monitors. So you can adjust your monitors here and also by pushing that, that mutes your main monitors. You can have that set up to do a couple different things, but I feel like most people, that's what they're gonna have it do, controlling the mains. Uh, you also have over here four assignable buttons. So within Apogee Control, you can assign these. There's a bunch of different preference settings that you can set, this, set these buttons to, whether you want them to clear your meters or you want them to mute your headphones or, um, you know, you can activate your front panel talkback mic. There's a bunch of different settings, so you can really customize all of these uh, four buttons to whatever you feel like is gonna fit you best. Moving all the way over to the end, you have your nice two headphone outs, which, um, you know, obviously can both be controlled, and then each one, you push it, and that will mute your headphones. So muting and unmuting is pretty easy by just simply pushing the buttons. So you can mute your mains by pushing this, mute or unmute your mains by pushing the button here, and then mute and unmute your headphones by pushing the knobs here. And then over here you have a nice just power on and off button. And all of this can also be controlled with an Apogee control. So that's what we're gonna get into next. I'm gonna show you how Apogee control can also control all of that. So you really don't even have to mess with any of these buttons when you're using Apogee, Apogee control can do all of that within the software. So let's get into that. Okay, so here we are in the Apogee control. So over to the left here on this side, uh, it shows the ensemble. You can set the clock source. You can set the sample rate. You can also select whether the talk source when you're engaging the talkback is the internal microphone on the computer or the front panel mic. Um, and then you have basically all your inputs so you can set, here's your speakers, and then you have, oh, I'm actually in the uh, output. So here's your inputs. And this is where you can change everything from within Apogee Control. So uh, the ensemble is no longer on Maestro, it's on this newer setup, which is really nice. 
So you can control all the preamps, you can select whether you're plugging in a mic or you want to just bypass the converters, um, sorry, by bypass the preamps and go straight into the converters or whether you're plugging an instrument in. So you can see as I'm changing that, it's changing up on the screen here. And then you can uh, set your volume. So you can see as I change it here, it changes on the preamp. And you can do that for every single channel. I usually have mine just set to bypass the preamps. Uh, and then you can, there is also an effects rack that you can throw on here. So there is a DSP chip inside the uh, Ensemble and you can throw that up and you can use it. You can throw this on every any channel. Uh, there's a couple EQs and a compressor, uh, so you're, you're able to access that. And you can see DSP load now, it's at, at 7%, so you can use these compressors within the Apogee itself, which is pretty cool. Uh, and then you're also able to, you know, phase. Uh, you can put, put the phase on, and then you can control over here the talkback mic, what, how loud the front panel talkback mic is going to be, and then you can control your instruments here. And then coming all the way over to the right, you can see that there's the headphone one, headphone two, the mains. And also you can see as I change that, it's changing here on the interface. Uh, here is where you would set your uh, front panel assignment buttons by clicking on this button here. You can set whether A, B, C, or D, you can assign them to do a bunch of different things. So you can fully customize all of that from within the software. So really, once you have the ensemble all plugged in, you have your mics and everything all set up, there's really no need to even touch the interface. I mean, obviously it's nice to still have physical knobs and be able to you know, turn them and mute and turn the headphones and mute the headphones, but you can do all of that from within Apogee Control. So if you were to be recording a session or working on something, if you had this window open, technically there's really no need to touch the interface. There's nothing here on the hard buttons that cannot be controlled within Apogee Control. So I just wanted to touch on that. It's a pretty cool little feature. So now let's get into how the Apogee integrates with Logic. Okay, getting into Logic, how the Apogee, how Apogee created the Ensemble to integrate with Logic is pretty cool. It's not really a feature that I use too often, but it is cool how they did that. They did this. So within Logic, you can actually control, say you're selecting input one, you can control what's going on, mic, instrument, negative 10 dBb or negative plus 4 dBu. And you can also turn on phantom power, you can do the polarity, and you can actually control the mic preamp from right here. So when you're actually changing the settings here within Logic, it actually is also changing within Apogee Control and on the hardware interface. So you can't see it right now, but as I adjust this knob here, I can. it's actually adjusting on the interface itself and that goes for every single channel so i'm going to bring up the mix really quick here and say you have you know channel one channel two channel three channel four whatever it is from within logic you can actually have direct control over what you're doing uh what's going on within the system here so again pretty cool say you just need to make some slight adjustments or you're getting logic and everything set up you can actually control not as much as what you can control with an Apogee control, but you can control a, a pretty, pretty nice portion of the interface from right here within Logic. So yeah. All right, that's it for the review of the Apogee Ensemble. We got to dive into it a little bit, how it integrates with Logic and Apogee control. Any questions or comments, please feel free to just drop them below and don't forget to subscribe. Shalom.